do, 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 do. Hey brother, why are you so fat? I'm not fat, I'm just uncompressed. And I'm compressed. I will fight you, uncompressed Thor. In this video, I'm gonna break down the differences between compressed RAW files and uncompressed RAW files on Sony A74. It's gonna be easy and sweet one, so let's do it. My name is Magic, I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador and a father of four children. Welcome to this YouTube channel, uh, the channel where I talk mostly about weddings and Sony gear and Sony gear and weddings. And you can also follow me on Instagram to see more of my photos and some behind the scenes that I post on my Insta stories. So in Sony a7 IV camera we have three different type of RAW file formats that we can choose. There's uncompressed, there's lossless compressed and there is compressed. And like I know we've been taught to always use the best possible quality we have, right? So, you know, compressed always sounds so scary. Like, oh my God, it's gonna be compressed, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be worse quality and so on. But with Sony, and then especially with Sony a7 IV, there's a lot more options to take into the consideration. So let me break this down for you. So first of all, we have the, the file size of the RAW file. So all these three formats have different file sizes. Uncompressed is gonna be the heaviest one. I found it to be around 70 to 80 megabytes. Then we have lossless compressed, which is half of that, around 35 to 40 megabytes. And then we have compressed, which is 35 ish megabytes. So surprisingly enough, the lossless compressed in some cases was exactly the same size as compressed. In other scenarios, it was like just few megabytes more, but the difference between those two file sizes is not that significant. The uncompressed is the actual big file. So in general, you can say that shooting any of these two compressed formats would give you twice as many photos on a memory card and then later on on your hard drives, uh, you know, within the same space as an uncompressed format. The second thing we have to take into consideration is the high speed shooting. So Sony a7 IV like actually is the only Sony camera that have a different like burst speed depending on which raw compression you use. So if you want to shoot the maximum 10 frames per second that Sony a7 IV has to offer, you need to shoot like compressed raw format. That's it, like uncompressed, and lossless compressed will slow down the camera to like around five, six frame per second. And there is no way to achieve, you know, the maximum burst speed shooting these two formats. And then third, the last but not least, like the image quality. So what is the difference in the image quality like between these three formats? So all of these raw type files, uncompressed, lossless compressed and compressed, have exactly the same dimension okay so like obviously the file size meaning the, the file is smaller doesn't mean the pixel size is smaller they all have full 33 megapixel dimensions there is there's no pixelated photos i found like in testing different isos in different scenarios all of these three formats will get you the same colors will get you the same sharpness so there's definitely no loss in there. So the only difference I personally found between these three formats is how much information there is in the files and meaning exactly how much you can pull out from shadows and being even more precise, how much can you pull from shadows in a heavily underexposed files. So let's look at the examples that I've shot. These are studio examples. They are linked in the description. If you want a pixel peep, if you like to look at photos like this, like knock yourself out the link is down there and yeah so whenever my photo was well exposed i cannot find 
any difference at all between these three files. Okay, so well exposed photo, ISO 100, ISO 800, ISO 12800 photos look exactly the same. You can apply preset, you can apply my preset, you can boost the colors, like it all looks the same to me. Uh, and I do apologize, I might have missed the focus on the eyes of Lego Fat Thor. This is actually the feature I'm waiting for in the next camera, like eye out of focus for Legos. Sony, please make this happen. So the difference, it starts to be noticeable when I had a photo that needed at least plus 3.5 on exposure slider, so was underexposed by three and a half stops. And then the photos that needed all in on the exposure sli slider, so plus five, these were even more noticeable. And all the difference was only between the compressed and the other two. Compressed lossless looked exactly as uncompressed. Okay, so the, the one like kind of being behind was the actual compressed file. And if I had a photo underexposed around two stops, like, and, and I push the sliders plus two on exposure, I couldn't tell any difference. The, the, the grain pattern, the, the, the overall quality, it looked the same to me. These are, of course, studio shots, like not very challenging to the sensor in general. And so I, I took the camera outside also to make some additional tests. So I tested the, the sky, you know, with the branches, with the sun coming through the clouds to see how highlights are preserved. But I actually found like the results are exactly the same as in studio, unless you push your files like plus three, plus four, plus five on the exposure slider because they are so much underexposed, there is no difference. And from my personal experience before a7 IV, I was shooting a7R3 for three years, four years. So I've shot tens of thousands or, or even hundreds of thousands photos, raw photos on wedding day using compressed roll and I never had any issues with it and I saved you know, tons of terabytes of storage. So what is my actual recommendation? I'd say the best format is lossless compressed, but, but with a7 IV there is this 10 frames per second problem. So if you don't need to shoot high burst speed like 10 frames per second and you're happy with 5-6 frames per second, shoot lossless compressed. If you want 10 frames per second, like go for compressed and don't feel bad about it, especially if you shoot weddings like me. Like there is no scenario at a wedding that you would underexpose, you know, three or four, four stops. Like no way it's gonna happen. And if it's gonna happen, it's gonna be a one-time thing, maybe a mistake exposing photo. But like, how can you make a mistake exposing on mirrorless? It's impossible. So I'd say shoot compressed. And personally, I'm just gonna shoot compressed row on my A7 IVs because I want to have that 10 frames per second. I'm happy to fit twice as many photos on my memory cards and hard drives. And I like literally never pushed exposure slider like plus three in my light. So that's a no brainer for me. I hope that was helpful. Don't be afraid of compress the name compress. Make your own tests if you own Sony a7 IV. If you don't feel free to download the photos from the description. And when you are hanging out in that description, you can also click the link to my presets and purchase them with the editing course. I like it and I think you'll too. And that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. 